Hey everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to find your instruments and effects from Complete Now in GarageBand. I'll show you how to load the instruments and select different presets. I have a blank GarageBand project open and I want to load my first instrument. I'll click the plus sign here and choose a software instrument and click Create. By default, it brings up an electric piano, but I want to change it to one of the instruments I installed with Complete Now, like Cloud Supply. If you don't see this area down below, you can double click on the track in the arranger. Click the arrow to expand the plugins menu. Click the arrows next to ePiano, AU Instruments, and Native Instruments. Don't worry if you don't see everything you installed from Complete Now or a specific plugin called Complete Now in this list. Some of the instruments you installed, like Cloud Supply or Retro Machines, are contact instruments. Contact is a sampler and is used to run many NI instruments. If you haven't yet, make sure you install the Contact Player from Native Access as you won't be able to load some of the instruments without it. I'll select Contact and then Stereo. As you can see in Contact's browser on the left, these are all of my contact libraries I installed with Complete Now. Let's load the Play Series instrument Cloud Supply. I'll click on Instruments below Cloud Supply, and then double click cloudsupply.nki, which loads the instrument. We can now hear this preset when I play the keys on my MIDI keyboard. If you want to change the preset, click the small triangle at the top, select the sound category, and then select a different preset. Let's load up Massive X. I'll click the plus sign to create a new instrument, click Software Instrument, and then click Create. I'll go back to the Plugins option down below, select AU Instruments, Native Instruments, but this time I'll select Massive X. Now that Massive X is loaded, we can hear some sound. If you want to change the preset, click the preset name at the top, and you can select a wide range of sound categories and then select another preset. Let's get some drums in here. I'll follow the same process again and click the plus sign to create a new instrument, click Software Instrument, and then Create. Click the Plugins option down below, select AU Instruments, Native Instruments, and this time select Battery and then Stereo. The browser on the left is where all of your battery kits are located. Double click on any of the kit names to load a drum kit into Battery. The last thing I want to add to my instruments are some effects, and we can load either the Delay Effect Replica or one of my personal favorite reverbs, ROM. Let's go back to the Cloud Supply track. Below Contact in the Plugins area, I'll click on an empty cell, go to Audio Units, Native Instruments, and select ROM. Even the default ROM settings sound great. From here, you can tweak the knobs to customize how the effect sounds, or you can choose from a wide range of ROM presets. Click the preset name at the top, Factory Presets, select a reverb category like Creative, and select one of the presets. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how to find your instruments and effects from Complete Now in GarageBand. For a more detailed overview of each individual instrument and effect, make sure you check out our Complete Now product walkthrough tutorials. Thanks for watching.